Greetings and blessings be upon you. This is Ancient Sips. Or at least that's the name that I intend to use for all given purposes. The idea here is to play certain matches in small increments and continue playing in order to learn to play this game. I'm new, fairly new to Civ 5 and uh, so I, I'm still learning uh, the ropes of the game. Probably I'm gonna make a, lot, make a lot of mistakes so if you are perchance watching this and you have some tips for me, I appreciate it. So the idea is here is to relax, to learn how to play the game. I actually had I, 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 I went forward and did some reading on how to play the game. I have glanced upon the manual. I have read some reddits and I've taken some tips from other players. I've watched a few videos in order to learn how to play the game. So I might have some notions, but others I might not have. So I'm going to have to read a lot. I'm going to be discussing random things during gameplay as well probably. So this is a random start I have actually started twice or three times. This map just to get uh, a feel of it and try to make right with my strategies. And uh, but uh, I don't know what I'm gonna find out there and uh, I actually received Portuguese the Portuguese as my main as my my civilization yeah so yeah we are portrayed here apparently in the apex of the history during the great navigations so yeah we yeah, yeah. let's see let's see if I can make the the proper analysis of territory she actually says that this territory is good for me I have hills on here so this might help the hills might might actually be a, a, a help if any invasion comes from east. As far as I've played so far, of course, people wouldn't have such a vision to target the city. They would, have, they would be forced to approach. That's to my advantage because I can shoot them. Uh, the river would also eat away some of the movement. Might help me. I have coastal access. I have whales here. I have furs here, I have cattle, so I have food, and I have at least one, two, three luxuries, apparently, that I can work with, and stone, so yeah, sounds like a plan, let's plant Lisbon here, as for you, my fine army, I'm gonna send you forward to explore. Production. I think I'm gonna go. I have some information. Maybe of use. Okay, thank you. you Could produce a worker or a monument. If I produce a monument, I'm gonna get more culture. And if I get more culture, I can anticipate at the very least maybe a few turns the adoption of a social policy. I'm uh, inclined to. Adopt either, either tradition or liberty, but I think liberty would be more interesting since I want to spread out with plenty of cities and I could use an extra worker as it goes. As far as I've read on Portugal, that initial screen or that initial screen denounces it actually tries to put partnerships with. Excuse me city-states, turning them into quote-unquote colonies in order to reproduce their, uh, Excuse me. their luxuries, so that might be interesting. And uh, we actually need access, if we are to profit from the special units in the house, we have to have access to coastal areas, of course. And uh, as far as I understand, they have a gold-related advantage, which I don't fully understand, I must admit. So, yeah, we get into the menu and uh, we get the details here. Can we details on the nation I'm playing? 
Yeah, oh, okay, I'm gonna just gonna enter the Civilopedia. Climate the terrain, ancient history, Muslim Iberian Reconquista, Reconquista, Restoration, Revolution Republic, New Water, Factoids, okay. Oh, Fado, Fado is a music genre which I love, by the way, that originated in Lisbon in the 1820s. Although its roots reach further back, it's recently added to the world's intangible cultural heritage list by UNESCO, United Nations Cultural Organization of Love. It's actually playing, I guess, in the background. Mm. Don't you have info? Ah, okay, Mare Klaus, it's the first thing here. Resource diversity grants twice as much gold for Portugal in trade. What is resource diversity? Resource diversity text doesn't exist. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to, res to resort to specialized. So, yeah, resource diversity. Okay, we'll, we'll see what that means in time. Well, next time. I'm gonna have to play with the surprise here. Maybe I just go into a Reddit or something later, a blog or video log or whatever. In order to reach it. Silver and sheep. Interesting. Next turn. Mm -hmm. Ancient ruins. So we have ancient runes here. Good. Next turn. Let's move towards the ancient runes. And here is Grand Mesa. Discover the Grand Mesa has increased happiness in your empire. Output of work, two production, and three gold. Oh, that's interesting. So I might just bring a city down here. You find survival lost in the ruins uh, in gratitude. They settle in one of your cities, increasing population. Good. What's that? Oh, we have another ancient ruins over there. Good. Let's move. Thank you. And one more turn. Desertic lands here. Plenty of hills. Oh, we got advanced weapons now. Our warriors are spearmen. Good. Sounds like a plan. Sounds interesting. Also having here cattle woods. Okay, let's move west. Try to open. I'm gonna move south as well. Okay. Ruins. Good. Let me just try to ensure that nothing is around Grand Mesa because I want to want this. Bow shop. I have some info. Okay. So we have barbarians up to the north. I, I really wish this rune had given me something more interesting. It's a shame. Well, now that I have this, I'm gonna go for trapping. Since I have foxes here, so now I can just produce a worker and try to work this here, and then I can come south and start producing my first luxury. So yeah, now I can also produce the circus. I'm gonna build a happy people, so I can spread cities all around. Okay, we have ocean here. Start moving east back again. Now let's produce a worker. I could just produce a, maybe a scout in order to gain exploration. I really need to know where the cities are, but uh, I think now that uh, might as well start producing more food and try to go try, trying to go my city faster. Marshes frontier. You have a frontier, people. Let's just. Move. Bukal Pires of the Maya, okay, so that's... Mm -hmm. That actually gives me a few tips, apparently, because if I recall correctly, the Pires is the title 
delivered for those that are seeking out the religious path so yeah and I think if I recall correctly and also if I recall correctly I have played uh, a little game a small game from uh, pitching uh, the Inca against the Mayans was actually Mayans were, were actually um, a random choice from the system so if I recall correctly they are very warlike well anyway and they have I don't remember the the special units they have, but I think it's a primitive warrior thing. And some religious bonuses. I'm gonna have to study these guys a bit further. Okay. Movement in here is a nightmare, apparently. What you're gonna do? Okay. Oops. Let's try to uncover all this area here. Might be that I can have a protected city to face these guys right here. Let's take a look at our chances. And now, options. Okay. Ooh, barbarians. Look at that. In here we have, apparently, a city-state that's being attacked by these guys. Dot. So I could go tradition. Again, production. I'm going to do one dust and plus one happiness. That's not my plan initially. There is a unit here, yeah, but uh, Liberty would actually provide one culture and adopting all policies in Liberty 3 will grant a free great person. And this interests me, Republic, plus one production in every city, plus five percent production in cities when contracting buildings. That's interesting. This improvement, the tile improvement construction rate increased by 25 percent and a worker appears near the capital. This interests me. I'm gonna go Liberty. Now I'm consul. Oh, cool! If I actually put liberty, I, I become like one, like, like a Roman consul. Consul, consul Maria the First of Portugal. So, in here in piety, the pious in here consul. Cool. There was one that 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 gives you lord. I guess it's tradition lord. It's a king lord or something like that. Right. So I'm going for a republican approach, like an ancient. Like the like Roman Republic. By the times of Publius Publicola. Okay, so should I attack these guys? I really don't want to. Let me see. If I, I I would love to know what city is this. Let's let's move forward. That oh, Vilnius. Okay. City states are small countries that are not competing to win the game. You may interact with them diplomatically, or you may go to war with them. So now I can actually, I actually have someone. Excuse me. Over which upon which I can use the Fatoria about that. I think Fatoria is. Uh... Oh, let's just check. It's right here, anyway. So yeah, let's go for civilization. Oh, I see. This is a, an advantage that's given by the leader. Okay. Let's see. Prerequisite text navigation. That's that's far away in the future. Factory trading posts established in foreign territories during the Middle Ages. Fatoria serves simultaneously as marketplace, warehouse, settlement, and staging point for exploration. Often established within with a grant from the Portuguese crown, these private enterprises repay the debt through the building and selling of goods and be on behalf of the crown and through collecting taxes on trade that pass through their gates. During the 15th and 16th centuries, a chain of over 50 feitoria were built along the coasts of West and East Africa, India, Malaya, China and Japan. The Feitoria allowed Portugal to dominate the Atlantic and Indian Ocean trade routes for three centuries. A Feitoria can only be built in a city-state's lands on a coastal tile without a resource. It provides one copy of each luxury resource type that the city-state has connected regardless of your status with that city-state. Well, well, it has to have a coastal area. If, uh, Vil if Vilnius doesn't have one, so no game. No dice. Also provides the game with 50 plus 50% 50 defense. Bonus is a foot. Can only be built by the Portuguese. Okay. So I'm 
grassland plains, deserts, and oh, yada yada. Okay. Let's leave this. I don't think that they have a coastal area. I think that they don't. So it's a, it's a shame, but anyway, it's uh, something to keep in mind. Befriended mercantile city state will provide extra happiness in your empire. Manufacturers special luxury resources which cannot be acquired in Oh, that's interesting. Sugar, porcelain, and horses. Coincidentally, one of the imports during the Brazilian colonial times. And I guess the Madeira Islands as well. And Azores. Zone of control. I have some. Yes, I'm within this guy's zone of control. I can kill the brutes because if I kill these brutes, I think I can help Vilna's a bit, a bit here. They don't have any quests. What do, do they? Oh, they want you to defeat the barbarian unit. units. They are invading the territory. Yes, so I might try to befriend these guys by killing these guys here. So it might be interesting. Let's go. That is at least my thoughts on the topic right now. Let's attack. Those are my thoughts. We have succeeded. A smart attack. It was just brutality. Just attack charging forward. Nothing smart about it, I assure you. Yeah, we're in the morph, so next turn. And Even great beasts and wandering birds do not fall into the same traps or nets twice. Oh, Saint Jerome. I, I really wish I, I knew a bit more of Saint Jerome. <laughs> anyway. Do you I refer in truffles? Yes, yeah, sound lovely. Sound lovely. Sounds lovely. Sorry. Okay. I'm gonna watch for these guys here. Let's see the next research. So I have a few options now. I have I could could try to build a quarry with masonry, so that but that would take me six turns and ten turns. Or I could just go sailing and try to profit from two production production areas that would allow me to actually explore whales right now. Which would be interesting. But uh, in order to actually profit from those, I actually would need another settler. And how far, how happy am I right now? So, yeah. Okay, local city happiness, yada yada. Okay. I could go. Yes, I, I, I'm tempted to go. to go towards the seas here instead of just trying to explore this area here. Yeah, I'm not really interested in Stonehenge. Don't really, I'm not really worried about. Uh, religion right now, I don't really care. I might have, though, some advantages I... if I come back. I played religion games before, so I think the two games that I played so far are religion inclined games, so they have interesting advantages, that is to say. I have no religion, but well, religion's none. I need 10 faith to create a pantheon, so I, I could actually try to pursue at least a pantheon. If I recall correct correctly, there are certain advantages that are interesting. Like, I, I don't really need them, but uh, let me just check one little thing here. If I recall correctly, it would be. Let me research this. Is this the name? Oh, sorry. Was this the name? I think it was. No. Let me just check the pantheons. Right, so it is. I, I guess I'd have more success going to the sidebar. Yeah, here it is. Pantheon beliefs, here it is. God of Craftsmen opens open sky pastures. God of the sea, here it is. Plus one production from fishing boats. Hmm. No, I don't think that would be 
a thing that I would pursue. I actually saw that on a video. Uh, it was an insular empire, now I understand why that would be the choice for goddess of the hunt food from camps. Hmm, that's interesting. Goddess of protection, goddess of the hunt, messenger, city connections, faith healers, tents of the aurora, shrines, deserts. There are desert lands up north, and since I want to establish my second city up here, it would might be interesting to have one, two, three. Well, I have. Well, no, these are plains and hills, just plains and hills. The desert is all the way up here, so I don't think it would be a lot, really, really projective. I do have pastures. It would be interesting. Maybe it would be interesting to have something to do with. Yeah, it, it might be useful. Mm -hmm. yeah. Might be useful. But I think in too far away. I don't. E I don't even think that I need to consider this to decide on the next step that I would give here because. Well, yeah, I don't think this is a great advantage right now. I would go. I w maybe I would rush Otix and. and uh, have to worry about Pakal. Locations all the way in the Renaissance era. So all that for a Fatoria note. I could work this advantage here. Yeah, right now I think it would be more interesting to go down the line and maybe work I would work pottery, it's useful. Yeah yeah, I'm gonna gonna I'm gonna go so far sailing for now. Okay, sorry to take so long to make a single decision, but as I said, I'm just getting started. Let's see if I actually made a right decision as time goes by. Oh, look at that, sweet. You actually move towards the hills, so you so as to protect yourself. I'm gonna charge and try to destroy the car. Because so if we can be any further, that's the problem. Yes. Yes, this this might be a problem. I might lose my unit. Might have made a stupid decision right now. But at the very least, I have accomplished the quest for films, I think. So, we'll see. 